inspiration is coming from a play and it is time for me to send books from somewhere else. Um, before I do that, I just want to again thank you all for tuning in. I can't believe how fast February has gone by. Um, we have really enjoyed um, the comments, the likes, um, the commentary coming from Ken Folks Co. as well as Historic Columbus. And really appreciate you all tuning in um, just to learn more about our um, history. And so um, continue to follow us, um, Ken Folks Co. Historic Columbus. Um, don't let February stop you in wanting to learn more about Black history. Black history is 365, and it also is all of our history. So just keep following our pages to learn more. So with that being said, let's see what we are going to send Justin next. So um, our next location um, is located in the Liberty District. Um, this may very well be one of the oldest Black-owned businesses in our city. And um, it was located near Top Hat Cafe. So those are your hints. Tune in to see where Justin is going on Tuesdays with Justin. Hey everyone, it's Justin Krieg from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today, Sharika has sent me to Sconyer's Funeral Home here at the intersection of Fifth Avenue and Ninth Street in the heart of what we know as the Liberty Heritage Historic District. Uh, this family, John Sconyer's, um, back in the early 1900s, about 1916, started a funeral home business. It now operates out of this newer building right here behind me, uh, but was also the proprietor of this large three-story building behind me here. Uh, which ended up being really uh, a centerpiece of the Liberty District and offered a place to, uh, to do business for many African Americans in the community. community. The building housed uh, different professional services, insurance, underwriters, a bank, as well as on the third floor, it featured uh, a community room, an auditorium space where different lodges and community events could be held. But this building and the Sconiers family have been operating since 1916 and is the longest running African-American business that's still in operation today here in Columbus. With that, we will see you next Tuesday.